You know, folks, um, we've been talking a, a lot this week about how our president seems to be playing for the other team. I'm beginning to think it's not the kneeling during the national anthem that bothers him, it's the wrong national anthem. <laughs> and now, the purposeful confusion over Putin's intentions in hacking our election is being continued by Secretary of Homeland Security Kirsten Nielsen, seen here thinking about baby jails. <laughs> Today, she said this about the intelligence community's conclusion that Russia supported Trump's candidacy. I haven't seen any evidence that the attempts to interfere in our election infrastructure was to favor a particular political party. What? So they meddled in an election but didn't care who won? That's like a gambler saying, don't worry, I fixed the race for all the horses. <laughs> well, Secretary Nielsen, I have acquired high-level intelligence proving Putin intended to help Donald Trump win from my contacts in watching TV. An appropriate did you want legal President framework. Trump to win the election? And did you direct any of your officials to help him do that? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. He just admitted it. Why are we acting like this is some big mystery? It would be like at the beginning of Usual Suspects. Kevin Spacey was like, yeah, I'm Kaiser Soze, by the way. I hope that's not going to be an issue. Even worse, I'm Kevin Spacey. <laughs> but... A lot of Kevin Spacey fans here tonight. <laughs> Too soon. But if Nielsen is denying international threats to our country, at least she recognizes the threats from within our country, right? Wrong. We are approaching the one-year anniversary of Charlottesville. When he placed blame, in his words, on both sides, does that make your job harder? I think what's interesting about that is we saw, you know, and I think we continue to learn, uh, maybe there was... Uh, different, uh, you know, whether it was foreign influence or different purposeful um, attempts to get both sides, if you will, uh, aggressively pitted against each other. Wait, isn't that exactly what she just said about the election? Is that her go-to answer for any situation? Um, it's not so much that I rear-ended your Audi, but um, that foreign interest wanted our bumpers to turn against each other, and now they're tricking you into asking me for my insurance card. <laughs> now, remember, it was a year ago, but cast your mind back. Charlottesville was organized by white supremacists. No foreign power could confuse us as to who was right and who was wrong. R right, Secretary Nielsen? I think what's important about that conversation is it's not that one side is right, one side is wrong. No! One side is wrong. It's subtle, but I'll give you a clue. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They're the one with the torches and the swastikas. Yeah.